Hello everybody, this is Xenocat822543, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. And in this part, there will be plot progressing, but we've reached the supply road. We just left, we just went through the vast cave passage into a new area. Now here's Watchpoint Junction. And as you can see, there's an elevator over here. So let's try heading over to this elevator. It's broken. Well, it says it doesn't look like it'll activate. And there's a new Collectopedia! What the heck? And yes, that's right, we're in Colony 6 already. So we're at Colony 6, Juju doesn't seem to be here. Oh well. We made it to Col I guess we beat him to Colony 6. He must have to go back, he must be somewhere along the path. Oh, do not change time. So yeah. Yeah, there's Super Komatis, Dober Corgi. Oh, and I realized I forgot to show off the Queen Locust description. Yeah, there's that. From last video. <coughs> Whoa, vision! That's two Ambergon turtles. So these are going to help the colony. No NPC needs them, they're just going to help the colony. Hmm. I'm still going to put it in the Collectopedia. I'm just gonna not gonna worry about it. Now I will not be accepting that NPC's quest because we can't complete it for a while. We have an Embligon Turtle. White Night Rod. And a Verdant Eternity. And guess what? We completed the Strange category. Ether Defense up 2. Yeah, the rewards for this area aren't too great, but hey. And there's a shop here. So let's sell our excess stuff, because we have not sold anything in quite a while. Three phalanxes, I can sell those. Sell that. Sell one of the brave garters. I can sell those two calm shots. I need to change equipment up, but I don't really care about that. Materials. Let's go from the beginning. We've finished the Tear Crest quest, I believe, the only one. We won't need those. Definitely don't need those. Won't need that. Think we need that for something later, so I'm gonna keep it. Don't need that. Don't need that anymore. We do need that. Don't need that. We do need that, I believe. don't need either of those. We finished that one. We don't need that. And those are all those ones. Okay. Now that's all I'm going to sell here. However, we can buy stuff here. This will actually be quite a lot. There's... I'm not going to worry about any of this stuff because any of the equipment stuff here because I don't really care. But I do want to buy these art books. Metal Blast, Engage, Heal Round, Sword Drive, Berserker, and Last Stand. Now we're practically broke, but that's a lot. Like, you have no idea. We just got art books for some of the better arts. On some of these characters. So I'm going to quickly use those art books. 
so now those are to intermediate level. And yeah, we can't go any further. And that NPC's name, I'll trade with him, is Daza. Yep, just so I can register him on the affinity chart. He appears near Batu Garugu and Batu Batu, just for reference. But that's all we can do here, actually. You literally can't do anything else in this area. There's other stuff here, but we can't go there. So let's head back to the Bionis leg. And that's all the side quest stuff we'll do this video. Now it's time for plot. No, not upper level. Let's head to South Rigwell Bridge. And actually cross the bridge now. Yeah, take a few steps forward and we notice the buggy. Hey, Shola, look. At least it's raining. It's buggy. Oh no. So wait, can Joke just scan things? Why is Juju going there? Why doesn't he pass it by? That doesn't look good. Juju! What is it? It's Juju! Shulk, is he okay? Uh. There's a mech on. It's taken Juju. Oh. When? I'm... I'm not sure. But I don't think we've got much time. Um, you said you saw a deep valley, didn't you? Yes. Well, there's a place like that just up ahead. And it's even on the way to Colony 6. That must be the route Juju's taking. You sure? No other deep valleys round here? Not as far as I know. Well, Shulk, let's move. That has to be where Juju well, is. there's no other landmarker location called Valley. But actually here, what you want to do is not head straight there. For some reason, actually, you can skip travel a bit further. But you can skip travel up to North Rigwell Bridge. But for some reason, they put the next cutscene far before, long before you reach that area. And yeah, I realize we delayed so long, but this boss is going this coming up is going to be so easy. Like ridiculously easy. I mean, actually there's two boss fights. The first one is going to be easy, the second one is going to be closer to our level. There's no sign of Juju. If my vision was right, he should be around here somewhere. I'm sure. Trust me, there's not Sorry. I just hope nothing's happened to him Trust yet. me, there's not much questing Any left. He went up that way? It's not safe around here. Before the I next doubt Juju would go off the beaten track if he could avoid it. Got it. We'll search along the road. Yeah, we know. And yeah, I just figured... Yeah. There's, there are very few quests, actually, before the next boss that we have to fight. Like, there's Daz's quest chain, which I'll be doing before the next boss fight, but that's it. After Daz's quest chain, we're done. Like, that's all the questing I'll be doing. There's it going to be exploring, but that's it. We're just questing and stuff. Juju. At the highest possible level without grinding, Juju. Hold on. we reach this. Well, not technically. I could have done a lot of calling Wait, nine quests, but... Then I would be ridiculously overleveled. That doesn't look good. Another new symbol's appeared on the Monada. Could I save her? And now... Of course.
This looks like it's a multi-targeting thing, but this is only single targeting. See how it's around both Charlotte and Ryan? That's not how it works. They start only targets one party member. At least they're playing this music. I mean, how fitting though. This is actually a worthy boss. A worthy boss. Like they they at least hyped this boss up. But please play this during the boss battle and not just for the cutscene. They might not, because we're getting close to the end of the track. Oh well. Amazing! I didn't know you could do that! It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. That's right. And the light swirling around us. That's the Monado and all. Shala, let's move! No, they're... No! No! Please, ugh. That theme is so much more awesome than this boss theme. Ooh, Blaze. That's not good. Move that. We're all granted an agility up buff at the start of this battle. That wears off. What? The boss battle ended already? Actually, it didn't. The boss is retreating to the upper level of this valley. To the upper level of this rock formation. Oh, and by the way, after this battle, you will never be... After this sequence, battle sequence, you will never be able to return to Spiral... This area again because a very powerful, well, not for a very long time, because a very powerful, unique monster will block the way. And this is the real battle against the level 18 enemy boss. Yeah. We're six levels above this guy. This should not be hard. But I mean, whatever. This is not like... I mean, yeah, it's a boss, but it's just an, an enemy. It's just like a type of mecha. It's not... It's not like it's a face... It's a face or... It has a face or anything. Not like Metal Face. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Why am I even bothering to use that that does nothing? Ryan... And there, we beat, we beat the tentacle Mechon. And save Juju. Juju, are you all right? Sh Shala, um, 
This is going to be a long part, just because I did exploring earlier. It's a while till we get to a system save. There is a system save, though, that's coming up, which is where I'll stop. I'm so glad you're okay. Hey, looks like we changed the future. What's up? That's creepy, there's no music. Well, it's just that that can't have been the mech one from my vision. Yeah, wasn't it supposed to be that one with the face? I guess we changed more than we expected. Shulk? No. Something's not right. <gasps> Should uh -oh. you? No, it's not him at all. But this one's got a face at all. Now this is a boss. It's Bunk. Come on. I thought you'd have to be this big scary monster. But look. You're just so pathetic little kids. And now for this boss fight. This guy is level 25. Charla is the best person to attack with in this one. Because she's the only one who can do damage. Her ether arts are actually doing some damage here. And you just have to wait till he uses that art. I can't do anything now. Ooh, it's daytime, apparently. And now, cutscene again. Juju! Juju! You pot of junk! Let him go! Right! More cutscene. Wild crash. Remember this music from back during the Mechon attack? What is that flashing green blue? His red light started flashing green. That's about. Oh, huh? <laughs> oh, keep a hold of this brat. If you want him back, you better come to Colony Six. We've been there already. But yeah, that's where we have to go next. The other mech on go with him, and they fly off. Shut 
So, can we save Juju? Find out next time. Actually, probably, maybe not next time. It'll be a couple episodes before we get there, but not questing, but just other stuff. Well, let's see what happens next in Xenoblade Chronicles.